Yo, sweetheart. Cat's a goddamn bitch. Welcome back, everyone. Hello. We're going to be playing this. My name is Nathan. I'm G. Whatever. We're going to be playing. Nobody cares. We're going to be playing the Stanley Parable today. Sounds like a fantastic game. Actually, I'm going to leave it up a little bit. Uh, because it's a dialogue It game. is a dialogue game. It's very like the Dr. Langeskov game, which if you saw is very, you know, just nice and chill and you should phone. So, um, yeah, so let's enjoy. Hit start because this is going to take forever to load, I think. It's loading. It is loading. End is never the end, is never the, the end, is loading is now. Loading is never the end. I don't know what's up with this game. Uh, I'll be honest, I have uh, very little idea what this game's actually about. Good, that makes it better. Yeah. This is one of those games that I wanted to play and I've left myself very out of loop for, so now I get to enjoy it, quote unquote. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, so we'll see. Is it like Skyrim? It uh, is exactly the same thing as Skyrim. Awesome. It's actually uh, basically a knockoff. Ah, which is unfortunate. This is the story of a man named Stanley. I'm Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, yeah. how long to push them. This is what employee 427 did every day, every month, of every year. I would do a job like that. Yeah. It, it seems... Standing yeah, soul-killing. Okay. Alright, real quick, I gotta do a little bit of... Day, oh, hold on. Happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him. I just poked myself in the no eye. One showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. He's got a nice when little setup, to be honest. Mm -hmm. And this happened. He's like the only one with a room. Complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen, solid. Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, I can't he got up work. his desk and stepped out of his office. Oh, uh, no. All right. Hold on just a second. Real quick. Uh, We're going to do that. And I, I got to I gotta real quick. And all right. We're back. Cool. Go. So this is one of the games like uh, Dr. Langescott, right? Very, yeah. They, they make they seem to have a very solid niche of games. Okay, so his orders were for me to step out of the office. Were they? Yes. Wow, look at those clock mechanics. I know. They, are, they, they impress me every time. Every time. Does it have the little... No, it's very mechanical. It doesn't have that little tick back, I don't think. Tick. Uh -uh. Tick. Tick. You know there's a clock simulator game that we can get, right? What? Do you want to play clock simulator on the channel sometime? What, what is that? You... you click every second and you change a the clock there's a simulator for everything isn't there yeah there's a simulator simulator do you know that is it really no i don't know like no i don't know that there is one yes there probably is one whoa Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure so if he had to make a decision what if a crucial outcome fell under his responsibility he had never been trained for that no this <clears throat> couldn't go any way except badly yeah, can you rotate the cup? Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. Nothing will hurt me. Nothing will break me. In here I can be happy forever. I will be happy. Stanley waited. Hours passed. <laughs> Look at the clock, clock, clock. Had years gone by, he no longer had the ability to tell. They lied to me. But the one oh. thing he knew for sure, beyond any doubt, was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Eventually, someday, they would arrive. Soon... Very soon now, this will end. He will be spoken to. He will be told. <laughs> what now this game's like really like poignant on office working. Now it's even closer. Here it comes. What the? What'd you do? I don't know. Maybe like reset the game or something. Is that what happened if I closed the door and just? Did you close the door? Yeah. I just closed the door. Yeah. Uh, try closing the door again. Stanley simply couldn't. No, nope. yeah. nope. nope. 
What if he had to make a decision? Let me out. <laughs> Wait, can you knock it out? No. Uh. Uh. Okay, hold on. We'll we'll get back to it. Hold on. I'm in this room. Hold on. I am employee Upstairs. 427. I have a computer. I have a telephone and a clock. A lot of filing cabinets. No I, idea what I'm they're not... for. Wait, hold on. All right, and we're back. Nathan. Why do I have filing cabinets? Like, really? If I just sit here... Why do I have a pencil sharpener? Why do I have papers in here? I just sit here and push a button. These are all good points. Every day of every year. All right, so we're pretty... Sh at this point, it looks like a multiple ending game. Is kind of what the vibe I'm getting, so... So, don't put... Don't... Please don't touch anything? Kind of thing? Uh... <laughs> Damn it! Son of a bitch! <laughs> Fucking... All right, we'll be back. All right. So, something we have learned... Take three... <laughs> Is that that ending is exactly one bathroom break long. Exactly. Alright, can we leave the room? I will kill you. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm a little scared. Uh, Hello? Hello? 428, are you there? 428. 429? 429? Oh, God. What about 430? She was hot. Are you really just doing this for the achievement? Click a door five times. Is that all that you think what? the achievement is worth? <laughs> no, 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 no. I can't just give these merits away for such little effort. A measly fine clicks. Now suppose you were to click the door twenty times. I would say that's the kind of Alright, click the door. This is what we're doing now. Click the fucking door. <laughs> I have to say I'm still not feeling the satisfaction of witnessing true effort for a noble cause. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 50 clicks. Now we gotta do this. Oh, Jesus. This is already going great. Yeah. This reminds me of, uh... I'm still not feeling it. I want this achievement to have meant something. A true reward for valiant effort. I want to see some hustle, Stanley. The Christmas shopping game? Button pushing? That? The one that... Why don't you go put 20 clicks into door number 417? Uh, 417? Uh, okay. Yeah, it reminds me of that, of the one that Markiplier was playing. But it also reminds me of... Oh, oh, shh. I'm uh, uh, so sorry, 435. Okay. It reminds me of a uh, Lisa. Oh. <laughs> it's like, eh, I'm not amused. <laughs> go, go again. Remember that, that guy? Yeah. Yeah. Which which door again? 417. Uh, okay. Jesus. Okay. Okay. I think also, um, you you interrupted his own dial. You interrupted his dialogue. I did. <laughs> So we'll never actually know. That doesn't have a number. <gasps> Out of place. Okay. What's in there? Can you see what... Can you see anything inside there? No? Looks like a little bit more. 4B6? 4B6. Alright. Well. Oops. Let's get to... Where's 417 at? Uh, um, uh, um, uh, uh, that uh, looks like please don't touch anything. Uh, oh god. Oh crap. Can you hit anything? No. Run. Run. That looks like please Run. don't touch anything, doesn't it? A little bit. Stanley, what are you doing? <laughs> we all went out for donuts, and then we come back to this. You turned off my computer. And you're standing on my desk. Stanley... You were tame at one point. What do you? What is? What has become? What has become of you? All right. Uh, well, I'm scared, dude. Just find four one seven. Oh God, you're putting a lot of pressure on me. Uh oh. So you're like right there. Yeah, there you go. Twenty times. <clears throat> oh, great. Now go click a few times on door four three seven. Uh, where's four three seven? Did we get there? Cause I thought it was going. Yeah, it didn't go that high. So gotta find four. That's four three six. That's all it goes. Uh, maybe that's four three seven right there. I think. Maybe. Uh, could it be? I. I, 
I don't think so. Go look around. Okay. God. Uh, uh, try going through that door. See if that's a door you can go through. See if there's a door you can go through. Four fives, uh, four twos. Uh, uh, I hate Mondays. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Boy, don't we all? Don't look around. Like <gasps> Especial leaf. Uh, God, where is 437? Can you see anything in there? I can see. What does that say? I don't. Uh, it's math. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to. Yeah, leave. We're, we're out. All right. Oh, God. Ah! Oh, no. Go to the right. <clears throat> This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. 437 looks like it's going to be through that way, though. What are, what are, what are in these? Uh, creepy, creepy offices. Uh, okay. 449. What's in there? Let's take a look in there. An office. Oh, that's cool. Looks good. Are you looking at the time? Their clock is... Their clock is moving. Jesus, I'm you people. Impressed. With your clocks. I hope that, like... <clears throat> I hope that one day somebody from Crow's Curse Crow's watches this. And yeah, it's... Yes, truly a room worth it's the guy who worked on the clocks. <laughs> He's like, thank you. He's like, oh my god, thank you. spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. You know... Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. It is a good-looking room. It is nice. It's weird looking for an employee lounge, though, doesn't it? Yeah, it doesn't feel like an employee lounge at all. Yes, really, really worth it being here in the room. There's the nothing room here. So utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. Either that was like spot on timing. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Um, this, this game's point, Stanley's obsession with this room bordered on creepy. <laughs> his overall personality. This game's becoming self-aware. That this is why everyone left. <laughs> 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 All right, go through the, the, the door. Dollar twenty-five. Fuck. Stanley sat around waiting for more dialogue, but when a long time had passed and there was no more, he decided that the game was trying to send him a message. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I immediately am in love with this game. Do you think if I stand around long enough, there will be more dialogue? I don't know. Let's test it real quick. Okay. Ugh. Do you think? Do you think they're sending you a message? Don't spin around so fast. I, I think they might be trying to say something. What are they trying to say? Move on with my life. Well, move on. I Don't am. I'm fast. You give, you give that line on the but screen that I can't fix. He had enough of the amazing room and took the first open door on his left to get back to business. Go to the right. <clears throat> there isn't a right, but there is a forward. Is there a forward? Go yeah. forward then. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. <laughs> Is there where where can you go now? This way, through A four, through A. Through. Caution, do not lie. If you are lying right now, stop. Uh, um, okay. Madison. Yes. I have to tell you something. Was that? I was lying. About about what? We're not going to get into that. They just told me to stop, and that's all I have to do. Yeah. Is there going to be any dialogue? I like the dialogue. Talk to me. Talk to me, God. I, th I think that this is about all you're going to get. Okay. Okay. But I don't know where I'm at. Do you not? What the f- Do not jump from the cargo lift while it is in motion. will cause death. Penalty for mis- Pe penalty for misuse of cargo lift, 1,000. Penalty for jumping off the cargo lift, 5 th Jump off the cargo lift, please. Oh, God. Hiya! 
But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley left from the platform and plunged to his death. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think that's a good place to stop and call that an episode. Pretty sure plunging the death is the best way we can go out. But all right, next time on OS. <laughs> uh, Bye everybody. All right, so, but got got to find those doors. Oh, mm, which doors?